Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 55-year-old female who came in to have her uterus evaluated. She had some fibroids and was having surgery planned in the near future and just wanted to look at it one last time. And we found another thing that was really incidental, and it's related to her quadratus femoris muscles. Both of them had atrophy. So over here we have the lesser trochanter of the femur, and we have the ischial tuberosity here, and there's a space between there where the quadratus femoris muscle goes through. You can see the muscle is dark, and in this region it's really bright. So this is really prominent fatty atrophy of the quadratus femoris on the left, and also on the right-hand side, exactly the same. And so this is what we call ischiofemoral impingement, where you get impingement upon the muscle between the uh, ischial tuberosity and the lesser trochanter, the space is narrowed and the muscle is pinched upon. Over time, the muscle will become edematous and then finally get fatty atrophy like this. This is more of an end stage appearance of this. But this is uh, a, a case of bilateral and relatively symmetric ischiofemoral impingement. Now, the distance between the lesser trochanter and the ischium should be always uh, greater than 1.7 centimeters. Anything over 2 centimeters, you can feel confident things are, things are good. If they're less than 1.5 centimeters, you know that you're in trouble. And this patient had a little bit less than 1.5 centimeters on that side. And on the other side here, if I measure that, whoops, it's not as bad, but it is also borderline narrow. So a case of bilateral issue femoral impingement related to narrowing between the lesser trochanters and ischial tuberosities, pinching of the quadratus femoris muscle that comes through here and attaches over here on the posterior aspect of the femur and the lesser trochanter, and that's it. This can cause pain in the pelvis, pain in the groin. You can, sometimes you can get a, a snapping or clicking sensation in the hips, and uh, kind of finding this often missed. Thank you very much.